Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. So in the past few days and weeks there has been so much mention of Spectre bugs and Meltdown bugs on both AMD and Intel based systems that I've started to feel like I'm living inside some kind of weird James Bond fantasy. If you wish to know more about both Spectre and Meltdown, I'm going to link an article that explains basically what they are, how they can affect you and what AMD and Intel are doing to remedy these bugs. I would also like to quickly mention, and this is actually quite important, that if you are running an AMD, Athlon or Sempron based CPU, then if you are on Windows 10 you want to disable your automatic updates feature. A large amount of users of these CPUs on the Windows 10 platform are reporting that this latest update is completely bricking their systems. I just said I'd add a quick warning to this video so you guys are aware of this fact. So when I updated to this version, I didn't actually see any performance drop at all from the previous Windows update. However, when I updated to the latest NVIDIA driver, driver number 390.65, I am seeing some weird performance issues when using OpenGL applications like CMU Emulator. Let's quickly jump across to my benchmark scene in Hateno Village where I am going to compare the performance on this new driver 390.65 versus the old driver 388.71. Now all testing in this video was carried out on CMU 1.11.3 with GX2 draw done in order to enable the best possible CPU slash GPU synchronization. The only graphics packs in effect are a 1080p resolution graphics pack, my own clarity GFX preset, FPS++ and my FPS unlocker which allows me to have absolutely no FPS cap allowing for proper benchmarking in game. As you can see, we are getting significantly at times lower FPS on this new driver 390.65 as compared to its previous version. Let's swap over to my Kakariko test scene and see what performance is like in that location. Now in a similar fashion to the previous scene, we can see once again a fairly significant performance drop when switching over to this new driver. Now a 4-5 to five FPS drop might not be a lot to people who are running at 60 FPS like myself, but a 4-5 to five FPS drop on someone who's moving from 24 to 30 FPS can actually be quite significant and depending on your own personal opinion can degrade playability quite a lot. Let's swap on over to my next test scene, Luralin Village. So in a similar fashion to the two previous scenes, we are seeing much lower performance in this scene. The worst I saw the performance differentiate was 10 FPS. Now although CMU performance is highly RNG based due to its experimental nature, especially due to the experimental nature of the new multi-core features, these performance differences can actually be replicated from driver to driver. Let's swap over to my final test scene, Gerudo Village. Now Gerudo Village actually didn't show that much of performance difference even though we did see slightly better performance in times on the older driver 388.71. Most of the performance differentials I saw in this scene at least can be put down to CMU's RNG nature and margins of error from benchmark run to benchmark run. However, based on all of the facts from the previous benchmark runs and all of my testing using CMU and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild so far, I cannot advise you to upgrade to this new driver 390.65 if you want to maintain the maximum performance that you can possibly have in game. So at the end of this video, I just wanted to give a quick shout out and a massive thank you to all my new supporters over on the BSOD Gaming Patreon. It really does warm my heart to know that there are people out there who are willing to help and support me, allowing me to deliver the best possible content on this YouTube channel. If you also weren't aware, we have a BSOD Gaming Discord set up. Everyone over there is super nice, I'll have the link down in the description if you want to come over, join and get any help that you could possibly need. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.